much. This is another uh, another tune from the pen of Mark Shubb. Number two pencil, actually. Number two pencil of Mark Shubb. <laughs> uh, this uh, is uh, Mark's reaction to a couple of the really uh, ambient cliches of the faux folk music scene in the early 1960s, the scene that we were kind of depicting in A Mighty Wind. Uh, two of the really rampant cliches of the time were, one, getting the syllables ninny and nani uh, as much as possible. And two, uh, this idea of a, a metaphor for men, a different metaphor for women, and oh, men are like this, and women are like this, and only if they could be more like each other, what a wonderful, how happy they would all be, and what a wonderful world it would be. So Mark thought he'd just ramp up both of those, uh, and A, trying to get as many ninnies and nannies into a lyric as possible, <laughs> and two, to find really radically incompatible metaphors. So he chose corn and wine. <laughs> The idea being that if they could ever get together, they'd make something hideously unpalatable. <laughs> but they'd be happy. But they'd be happy. They'd be happy, but... Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> a couple years ago, I had reason to perform this song publicly, and I realized I didn't remember the lyrics, and I didn't have them on my computer. So I, you know, I did what the kids do now. I used the Googles. <laughs> I just can't keep up with that stuff. I mean, the bloggers and the Twitters and the teabaggers. <laughs> So I googled that title, and I swear to you, the first dozen hits I got when I did that were recipes for corn wine. <laughs> so I guess human beings like to get blasted, I don't know. Anyway, here's that song, Corn Wine. Sit in the wine. 